Evan Solomon hosted Power and Politics right here on CBC News Network. He also was the host of The House on CBC Radio. His dismissal comes hours after the Toronto Star published allegations that Solomon used his connections as a journalist to broker art deals. Joining us now is Kevin Donovan. He is the Toronto Star investigative reporter who broke this story. Uh, Kevin, hello to you. I want to begin with the, the genesis of this whole story. How did you first hear about Evan's involvement in this art business? Uh, about two months ago, we received information uh, uh, from sources. I uh, can't uh, disclose who the sources are, obviously. Uh, but to, to have a look at uh, this issue, uh, uh, began doing a, an investigation, uh, which led to the story that was uh, published uh, first on the star.com yesterday and then in print today at the Toronto Star. What was troubling about it when you heard about this story? Well, here's a 47-year-old uh, career journalist uh, uh, known uh, as CBC describes him on their website uh, for asking tough questions. And uh, the allegations were that he was uh, trading on his contacts uh, uh, to further his own personal interests uh, in making money off of art deals. And, and for a, 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 a journalist... Uh, uh, journalists are supposed to be objective, they're supposed to be removed uh, completely from people that they are interviewing, and uh, so it's troubling to me as a, as a fellow journalist that uh, somebody would get themselves into this situation. Now, to be fair, uh, Evan did disclose the business to CBC about two years ago. That was confirmed by CBC Communications. And uh, we hear uh, from... To catch up with that, uh, I believe he disclosed it uh, just a couple of months ago, and he didn't disclose anything that was in the star. He just said that he and his wife had a business and they were uh, selling art. Well, there was a statement from Evan last night. I'm going to read that statement to you right now, Kevin. And he says in the statement, I do not view the art business as a conflict with my political journalism at the CBC and never intentionally use my position at the CBC to promote the business. Uh, what do you say to that? Well, let's look at the case of uh, his contact with uh, Jim Balsilli. Balsilli, the former, uh, the founder of RIM and former uh, CEO of RIM. Uh, August uh, of 2013, Evan Solomon's trying to reach him to talk about uh, Balsilli's role in a sustainable technology uh, uh, position he was given by the, the federal government. Uh, Balsilli's not interested in going on the air. Maybe we can talk about it in private, he says. Uh, then October 1st, Evan Solomon reaches out to him. Really like to interview you about the Franklin expedition that you've been backing. Again, not interested in going on the air, but they agree to meet. On October 23rd, they meet. Evan says, may I bring a, a friend of mine along? He brings along a person who turns out to be uh, a collector of art, Bruce Bailey. The night before, Evan Solomon and Bruce Bailey had signed a contract, which we have, uh, which states that, uh, uh, why don't I read it here? It states, uh, whereas Ev Evan Solomon is a Canadian journalist and has become familiar with collectors and others who might have an interest in purchasing Canadian and other art. They sign this deal, then the meeting takes place. Balzilli doesn't realize it, but for the next two years, every time he buys a piece of art from this person he has just met, uh, Evan Solomon is taking a 10% cut. To me, that's wrong, and I think the CBC uh, uh, executives uh, felt it was wrong, and that's why they terminated his employment. Is there a lesson out of this that you want to highlight? Well, I think journalists should be journalists. Uh, I don't think they should uh, uh, get involved in any side deal that, that uh, involves them at all. Uh, I, I understand that uh, you know, people want to make a living, but I think there might be a temptation for people to, uh, 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 to do more than, than their job. It's a, as we all know, as I'm sure you know, it's a busy enough job being a journalist. I can't imagine uh, doing uh, something else uh, completely separate. Uh, but if you do that, you have to be very, very careful that uh, you're a person like Evan Solomon who's holding others to account. You have to make sure that you are completely above reproach, and, and he wasn't. Kevin, I will leave it there for now. Thank you for this. That is the Toronto Star investigative reporter Kevin Donovan who reported about uh, Evan Solomon in his paper.